Welcome to Netlytics tutorial on importing data from Twitter. This tutorial will walk through how to link your Netlytic and Twitter accounts, how to conduct an advanced search query for your Twitter dataset, and finally how to complete the import process. Twitter is an online social networking site where individuals can connect and share information in short 140 character messages. Messages, also known as tweets, consists of text, photos, videos, and links. The Netlytic importer uses the Twitter REST API version 1.1 and collects data every 15 minutes. To begin data collection from Twitter, log into your Netlytic account. Once you've logged into your account, click on the New Dataset button up at the top. For this tutorial, we will be concerned with the Twitter tab. If this is your first dataset from Twitter, you will need to link your Netlytic and Twitter accounts. Let's walk through that now. As we can see from the message on the screen, our Twitter account has not yet been linked. Click on Account Page. This will bring you to a new screen which displays information related to your account. Scroll down and click on Sign in with Twitter. On the next screen, you'll be asked to enter your Twitter credentials. By entering this information, Netlytic will be able to read tweets from your timeline and see who you follow. Click Authorize App to continue. You'll be redirected back to your Netlytic account. By returning to the Twitter import screen, you will notice a note stating that you are now linked to your Twitter account. Before we can import data from Twitter, we need to create a search query for Netlytic. To begin, click the New Dataset button up at the top and on the next screen, ensure the Twitter tab is selected. In the first text box, you may assign a meaningful name to your dataset. Let's leave it blank for the moment. The second text box will house the search term or terms, and these can consist of keywords with operators, hashtags, or usernames. At this point, you may wish to use Twitter's advanced search guide, which gives you examples on how to refine your query. Click on the advanced search link, and on the next screen, fill out the relevant fields. For this tutorial, we will be exploring Twitter conversations around the 2015 Pan American Games in Toronto. When building an advanced search, there are a number of fields we could fill in. For instance, we could use keywords like Toronto, Pan Am, and Games. We could use known hashtags like TO2015, or search for known accounts such as the official Pan Am handle, at TO2015. By selecting a location, you will narrow your search to conversations happening within a specific geographic area. For instance, we could look at conversations about the Pan Am games happening only within Toronto. We can also build this search using a specified time frame to capture conversations during scheduled Pan Am events. Although you can search for tweets using the date-time field, it's important to note that this filter may not work in Netlytic. And this is because the Twitter search API that Netlytic is using to collect data usually doesn't return tweets older than a week. To keep it simple, let's search for the hashtag TO2015 and select English from the drop-down language box. I also want to discover tweets that mention the official handle, TO2015. For now, I'm going to disable the location feature. Click Search to continue. The next screen will show results based on your query. Click All and briefly scroll through the results to ensure they are relevant to your initial research goal. If there are no results or if they seem irrelevant, you can always go back and edit the fields to either widen or narrow your search. From this screen, we can also modify our search query to include operators. Right now, our search has retrieved tweets that include both the official hashtag and the handle for the Pan Am Games. If we include OR into our search statement, we can broaden the results to include tweets that have both the hashtag and the handle, or just the handle, or just the hashtag. Once you're comfortable with your search query, you can copy it over to Netlytic and paste it into the second text box. Remember to give your dataset a meaningful name. For instance, you can include unique words from the dataset itself. For this example, we will be using TO2015 and in brackets OR for our title. Next, check the box to enable data collection and from the drop down menu, select the duration for the collection period. Click Import. The next screen will indicate that the import process was successful. 
you will also receive an email notification when data has been collected and you can begin to analyze your new Twitter dataset. Since we set up automated data collection, going forward Netlytic will automatically check for new tweets every 15 minutes and retrieve up to 1,000 of the most recent tweets per call. Thanks for watching. For more information on how to use Netlytic, please visit our YouTube channel. Documentation can also be found on our website.